you need a proper off campus opportunity 80% of people get outrightly rejected engineers don't have that much time how do you showcase this skill i am sorry you're out of the placement game don't ever lie in your resume Hi engineering janta I am Vaibhav Shukla and today in this video you will be understanding how to prepare for placements this video would encompass and comprise of a 3 months preparation plan for your placements and now the biggest question who should be watching this video so if you have an upcoming placement season this video is definitely for you if you're somebody who has ongoing placement season already blades are on your head so go ahead watch this video till the last and if you're somebody who's aiming for a higher package has some offers and is trying to negotiate better with the hrs then also this video will help you so stay tuned till the end honestly speaking if you want higher packages there are very less chances in any of the tier 2 or tier 3 colleges that you will get it in the on campus placements so in my suggestion you need a proper off campus opportunity that gives you a better negotiation and a better package now where do you find them don't worry we got your back all you need to do is follow us on instagram go ahead join our whatsapp communities and on all the social media handles stay updated with prep insta because that will help you out the post daily hirings and a lot of information that is relevant to your placements the resources that you will be getting in this video will be either from prepinsta.com which is our free blog based website where you have ample amount of resources at your disposal for free of cost alongside that i'll be giving you some resources from prepinstaprime.com which is the favorite ott for your placement preparation now comes what topics to cover for your placement preparation so one thing that you should start with is aptitude basically i'm listing down a few topics for you and then we'll deep dive into every topic so aptitude is the first topic you should prepare post that go ahead to language pick your favorite language practice some coding move on to top 100 codes don't worry i got your back i'll explain everything post that some dsa of great free of cost resource i'll be sharing with you ahead for the data structures and advanced coding once you're done with that go ahead work hard on your skills projects also all you have to do is alongside that boost up your resume and brush up yourself with some computer science concepts and theory subjects that can help you ahead but apart from all this practice practice and practice that's very essential all you need to do is just follow this road map and this will give you the best of the placements that you can get so diving in deep into the first topic that we have which is aptitude if i talk about aptitude a lot of coding geniuses that i had in my college failed just because of ignoring this gatekeeper actually big companies like tcs ibm cognizant all of them generally have a basic coding test in the placement exam before any coding testing or any kind of skill and project testing happens so to be very very honest 80% of people get outrightly rejected in the aptitude round just 20% people go ahead so even if you are a coding wizard aptitude is highly recommended to you please start practicing it daily one hour at least for the next 3 months if you are preparing for the placements if i talk about the topics to be covered one is quantitative aptitude that you must cover diligently alongside that visual reasoning data interpretation logical reasoning verbal ability need to be covered 100% and the need to be practiced a lot of times so that you know how to prepare well in time and how to perform better for the same but if i talk about some things like game based aptitude which is relatively newer in the market how do you prepare that for that i have some resources for you and i will tell you about that but most importantly you must not miss out on such things for example game based aptitude or guesstimates they are asked by companies like ibm recently cognizant asked in one of their placement papers and they asked about the game based aptitude so you must be well ready with this as well now moving ahead you have two ways to prepare one is conventional mode there are various books like rs adhwal arun sharma and they are great books honestly but they take a lot of time and generally engineers don't have that much time also these conventional ways are a bit boring and take much much effort rather than doing a structured course if you're somebody who's looking out for a structured course on aptitude and wants to save time then prep insta prime which is your favorite ott for placements that can cover you up that has got your back all you need to do is go to the prime 
hop on to the courses that are related to the aptitude and cover them end to end and you can save yourself from the sheer hard work that you need in these books alongside that you have a lot of free resources on prepinstar.com where you will be having tips tricks and various short formulas which will help you to crack the aptitude rounds of various companies moving ahead to the languages this question often troubles a lot of non csit students and also some cs as well as it students get troubled from it generally the choice is between three languages python java and c++ python seems relatively easier c++ is widely used and java is almost there in every job description so what to pick to start with you must go ahead with c language that being said you when you prepare your foundations well in it move ahead to c++ if you're somebody who's not sure which language to pick up if you're somebody who's heavily inclined for ai ml nlp data science roles go for python and if you're somebody who wants some core sd jobs in big companies java works for you being very very honest c++ or java can both be the choices if you want sd or core software engineer job where you'll be developing enterprise grade applications but if you're somebody who's for data analytics data science i told you what to choose for if you're done with your choice move ahead to the top 100 codes which are available for free on prepinstar.com all you need to do is hop on to top 100 codes start from the first question and keep practicing they are designed in a very systematic manner and once you complete that list you'll be a lot ahead in terms of your competition and you can crack the service based companies very very easily with it but if i talk about the product based companies or most of the high paying companies which are available in off campus opportunities they ask you data structures and algorithms some companies even expect competitive coding but i'll talk about that to solve a dsa problem all you need to do is either hop on to your favorite ott pepinsta prime go ahead prepare the dsa in favorite language which is readily available in a structured format there or you can do one more thing if you have practiced the basic and intermediate level of coding you can go ahead and find top 150 not out questions list on prepinsta.com from first question to the 150th question if you practice it and if you have it on your fingernails then believe me you can crack any company beat adobe oracle mang fan what not any company you can easily crack but you need to revise it a lot of times these 150 questions aren't just questions they are new patterns and even a new question is formed using these patterns so actually i'm offering you a freedom from 300 400 questions on any of the platforms like lead code hacker rank code chef all you need to do is hop on to this list prepare this 150 questions and move ahead to any product based company if you want a structured format and if you want video lectures you can simply go to the prepinsta prime that will be readily helping you with this now comes skills and projects a lot of skills might seem cool and trendy to you but might not be that useful to the industry right and with the age of ai coming in you need to upskill yourself somewhere in that as well so honestly speaking i'll tell you to upskill yourself in data science ai machine learning generative ai along with that if you're somebody who wants core sd job prepare yourself in full stack development work on frameworks like react node if you're somebody who's more interested on network and security side cyber security is for you preparing for skills like this needs a dedicated guidance again prime has got your back so go to prepinsta prime and you can find structured courses on every skill there but how do you showcase the skill how do you actually know that you are proficient in a skill by building good projects and those good projects not just help you in learning that skill but they are actually the storytellers to the recruiter that yes you have worked on a particular skill and you're fluent in it for that i'll suggest that prepare some demoable projects some good projects which are deployed on github or which are available on various platforms publicly or what you can do is prepare a working youtube video for it also have your project repositories well stored with you because if some interviewer asks you to provide a demo of it you should be readily providing it do not give lame excuses at that point of time they are a big big no if you're somebody who's providing such excuses i am sorry you're out of the placement game want some more cool project ideas prep insta prime has again come to your rescue all these projects are readily available to you 
you can go ahead and browse it out also on prepinstar.com some project ideas are available free of cost with ats friendly resume description now what it is ats how it actually affects resume we'll be talking in upcoming slides wait till then before i go ahead to resume and ats i'll first address a very ignored and a very important and underrated thing which is the cs theory subjects the cs fundamentals which are often asked in placement interviews at least 10 minutes recruiters spend on it now why do they do this because they assess how sincere you were in your college your sincerity is actually needed in your work as well because that represents the work ethic how dedicated you are to what you pursue isn't it so for that you need to study your cs subjects as well so if you're a non cs it person dbms and sql are a must for you without them you cannot sail through interview also to all the cs it people dbms and sql would take even deeper dive if you are from computer science background so you must prepare heavily foreign keys primary keys joins concepts like relational databases entity relationship diagrams should be covered in detail now for computer science students there is one more thing they need to prepare which is sdlc os and computer networks now all this bunch of subjects is often asked to computer science students because they study it in depth and if you are a computer science engineer it is expected out of you that you understand these metrics specifically the sdlc portion or the software development or the software engineering portion now to cover all these you have dedicated structured courses on prepin star prime which can help you out alongside that you have a few free resources on prepinstar.com as well you can go ahead on both you'll find various useful links like top 150 not out top 100 codes in the description as well so go get geared up placement season is arriving addressing the suspenseful part what's ats so ats is the applicant tracking system now how does it help it's just the abbreviation i told you isn't it so for any big company you have large chunk of applications and even with a team of 200 hrs it is impossible to shortlist so many applications so many resumes they can't manually go through them so to sort that out they have an automated system which is applicant tracking system it assigns score to every resume and they set a cutoff score so below that if your resume is scoring you are outrightly rejected if your resume scores better than that score you are shortlisted and let me tell you 50 to 60% people don't even get a chance to move ahead with their applications just because they have poor resumes if you want to build a good and great resume which can get you shortlisted even in off campus opportunities all you need to do is watch this video this is available for free on our youtube channel you go ahead watch it out prepare your resume step by step that will help you a lot now the most important portion of this let me tell you don't ever lie in your resume a lot of people do this mistake do not do that because somebody who's sitting on the other side of the fence can easily tell that he has done a lot of research fine he has spent a lot of years in corporate so don't ever lie in your resume be mindful coming to the most important step of these placements practice practice and practice keep on practicing as much as you can now if you want the division of 3 months you should be practicing aptitude daily fix yourself somewhere that you prepare your ca language in 3 to 4 days prepare yourself in a dedicated manner for the cs theory subjects that you devote 3 to 4 hours once you're doing them and that would help you to cover them in 3 to 4 or maximum 5 days alongside that practice a lot of coding spend a lot of time in learning skills spend a lot of time in building projects approximately 2 to 2 and a half months would go in coding and skills and projects so that's the basic bifurcation that i can do for you and if you divide your 3 months mindfully in it you'll have a great placement preparation plan now why i am not dividing days for you is everybody has a different pace of learning so you need to be mindful of your pace of learning and accordingly build a plan not every shoe fits to all right so one size fits all approach often fails you do not need to do that prepare yourself well set out chalk out a plan after this video make sure this is the last video you watch on placement preparation pick up a register make a 3 month calendar and accordingly put up the topics that you're going to cover in the order that i have told you fine most importantly as i said practice practice and practice i can't stress enough on it and the more you practice the better you will perform 
on prepinstaprime.com you can make this practice easier because there you'll have full length mocks if you're preparing for some company like TCS Capgemini Cognizant and if you're somebody who's preparing for a skill and wants to build some cool projects in it then also you'll have a systematic flow of learning there alongside that get up and prepare yourself with prepinsta.com because that is free of cost website you must not lose the advantage which is freely available to you one very important thing i am reiterating which is follow us on all these social media handles because we often post hiring updates we often post off campus opportunities which are massively paying and can pay you better than any of the offers that you have on your campus placements alongside that you can follow me on my instagram handle that is at the rate shukla ji speaks and let me tell you nobody is managing it except for me so if i am there i can definitely address your queries directly and personally you can straight away ping me up there and i'll make sure that i address your query now if you're a student if you're in college or if you're somebody who's already working you should specifically tell this information to all the people all the peers juniors seniors whoever needs this information help people out keep doing good for others without any expectation good will come back to you have a wonderful day ahead bye bye